The strength of the team is each individual member. Each person brings unique talents, perspectives, and experiences to the table, contributing to the collective success. And in turn, the strength of each member is the team itself. It's the cohesion, the collaboration, and the support within the group that amplify individual abilities and lead to remarkable achievements. Together, we complement each other's strengths and shore up each other's weaknesses, creating a formidable force capable of overcoming any challenge. So, let's recognize the value of every member, nurture a culture of respect and appreciation, and harness the power of our collective efforts. Because when we recognize that the strength of the team lies in each individual member, and that the strength of each member is the team, there's no limit to what we can accomplish together. You just keep doing the right thing. A real man does the right thing at all times, no matter what is coming in return. Because the real man knows his duty over everything else. A real man knows his duty over booty. A real man knows this. A real man knows he needs to put in some work before uh, he gets a reward. You know, you don't get a work, you don't get a reward without work as a man. You know, and I'm gonna say, this is the, I'm gonna tell y'all what, what, why there isn't a lot of real men in our society today. In our life, people have been rewarded for simply compete uh they stopped let me tell y'all something to include the losers of life because in life there's winners and there's losers in the game of life the game of life because it's a constant competition it's constant will to survive it's a constant struggle it ain't no guarantee to life so in the game of life there's some people who are gonna win and come out on top, and there's some people who are gonna lose and come out on the bottom. There's predators in life, and there's prey in life. You, you don't have to be a predator to be considered a real man because a real, like say, say for instance, a noble animal like an elephant. A noble animal like an elephant isn't a, a predator. He's not a, a meat eater. He's not a, a, a killer by nature. He'll kill to he'll kill or she'll kill to protect her elephant children. She'll kill to protect her pride, to protect her village, to protect her location. He'll kill to protect his area, to protect his child, to protect his wife, his woman elephant. But an elephant is not going out into life murdering I think we can weather the storm. I think we can weather the storm. I think we can weather the storm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think we can weather the storm. I think we can weather the storm. I think we can weather the storm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Have a wife or a woman. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. To be the head of something or not, 
whether you're a subservient man, a weak man, a, a, a lying man, a cheating man, whatever kind of man you are, you still will be put in a position to 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 be kind of like over your family. And it, this is where I say you have to be a real man, noble and all that, because you don't got to start great. And you just got to start when you hear time burst. No, it's coming from the heart. We started from the bottom, but we going real far. When you hear time burst, no, it's coming from the heart. Not much time for the hassle, man. We leading by example. They been counting me out. Now I got them all baffled. We got more to come. This right here is just a sample. They asked 21 questions, but don't want to know the answer. The go came back to play. Man, I could have signed with Tampa Boulevard to the court. Playing Charlotte like the Panthers. I said I changed the game, man. They filled them up with nothing. I came with the word. My granddaddy is a pastor. They plan to divide, but we need to come together. Got a lot going on under a lot of pressure. When I hop behind the mic, man, no one can do it better. It get cold outside. You might want to grab a sweater. Let's you don't go. got to start great, man. You just got to start when you hear time burst. No, it's coming from the heart. We started from the bottom, but we going real far. When you hear time burst, no, it's coming from the heart. The Bible has said, let us make man in our image. That process, that whole recreation process, the procreation process, it was a gift given to us by God himself. Um, everybody doesn't have the ability to reproduce like we do. Now, most life forms do. But the, the fact that we have the ability to carry the seed of life as men, Thank you, Colin. I appreciate you. Look, the fact that we get to have the seed of life, get to carry the seed of life as men, is something that should not be taken for granted. It's something that should not be taken lightly. And it's something that should be used wisely. We are literally men. Let me tell you about men. A man in one night, or to say, in a short span of time, a man could populate a whole environment in a short span of time. One man. Listen to me, y'all. Let me show us the power. Let me show y'all the power of a man. One man could line up 20 women. He could line up 20 women. And they all get in position. And he can make love to each one of these women and impregnate her if that was destiny, if the seed, uh, if the seed got planted, you know, in the, if the seed got, uh, what do you call it, blossomed or fertilized. Um, if all the conditions was right, all the health conditions was right, the man was in his optimum health condition and the 20 some women, to say 20 women were in their optimum health condition. The man could get those 20 women pregnant in one day and start a whole legion of people. And this, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. What y'all have to understand is this is how the Jeffersons were born. This is how the Jamesons was come, uh, were here, are here. This is how the Johnsons are here. This is how the, J the Coleman's, the this, the that's. They're started with one man. And one man impregnated a, a woman or however many he impregnated and created a new legion or race. I believe you can and you're halfway there. I believe you can. I believe you can. Believe you can and you're halfway there. I believe you can. I believe you can. Determination. Divine greatness. They call me just in time. We'll talk about it later. About the ghost, put us in that conversation. We caught them by surprise. Now it's total domination. Dealing with the hate, it gets so exasperating. Could have signed with Cadillac till my flow keep escalating. What they gon' do with time? They have no explanation. Two tens in the bucket, we exceeded expectations. Put the city on my back, man. I think I'm irritated. Walk through the fire, did it all without complaining. My 
verses paint a picture You can see what I'm saying Let's go Believe you can Then you're halfway there I believe you can I believe you can Believe you can Then you're halfway there I believe you can I believe you can And make him make love to all kind of women slaves all day long some, sometimes it might be his sister, sometimes it might be his cousin, sometimes it might be his auntie. This is what happened in real life. They used to put bags on the buck's heads. They called them bucks. They put bags on his head and make him make love to all the women. And guess what? All, that's how they reproduced slaves. That's how they populated and created slaves. Let me tell you, this has been going on before slave. Queen Elizabeth. Mm. Queen Elizabeth used to have hundreds of men line up per day. Hundreds line up per day to have sex with her. She was burning hot scorching coochie. Coochie had, coochie had lava in it. not burn so much my lord my lord might i do anything i'll 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 clean the i'll clean the, the the cathedral with my with my hands please don't let me have sex with queen sir squire keep going shut the fuck up keep going squire no dudes in there ah! My lord, it's hot in here. This is a hot one. On a fortnight, it feels still it feels burning. Now I shall burn until my last days, my lord. Fucking with Queen Elizabeth. So everybody's been doing this, man. You know, but I'ma say you. A real man, now that was the that was an ex, that was the example of an experiment. Now real man. Couldn't be happy with one woman, right? He can. If the one woman's doing her just dues and handling it and doing what she's supposed to, yeah, I'm mean, But also, too, I'm gonna tell you, life is not what y'all think it is. Because if a man in African culture, and I always go back to African culture because I'm an African man. My name is an African name. I'm definitely born. I speak Swahili. I spoke Swahili, y'all, key Swahili. At the same time I was growing up speaking English, and I lost a lot of my Swahili. Now I just know how to speak food, and, you know, Asante Sakitu, and all my little basic words, and you know, shit like that. But I'm grew up as I grew up as an African man, and I know in, in my culture, an African man can have as many wives as he can take care of, and that's that's part of African culture. So. A real man doesn't have to be with one woman. A real man doesn't, it, there, there is no box to this shit. There's just standards to be in. You just need to be a straight, stand up guy. You know, uh, a dependable, honorable, honest man. You know, that's these are the qualities of a real man. And I'm gonna tell you why everybody's not real. Let's get to modern day society. <laughs> 